Fedora is a distribution that I've never actually used day to day for a significant amount of time and it is the single distro that I have most fear of missing out about sadly because I, I do think it's a really good distro and I just never got really um, the, <laughs> the, the, the I, 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 I just never used it. I, I always stuck with that's what I always used. I used the Arc for a bit but Ubuntu has always been what I used and so Ubuntu it is but Fedora I'm really interested and I've seen that they released the 37 beta and I just wanted to give a quick to it. Of course I'm using the version with KDE, just kidding, I'm using the version with GNOME which is the workspace one, Fedora 37. So let's watch it, uh, it it's this one. So what has changed? Uh, well, first of all, we get GNOME 43, which hasn't been released yet. It's on feature freeze, if I recall correctly, but it will release uh, in a week from now or so. So very close release date and we can actually try it out in Fedora. So we do get the new things about GNOME 33. As an example, there is the new uh, quick settings, the new quick settings, sorry, which look good, I think. It's a very interesting design. However, I think that it makes more sense since uh, 43 isn't released yet to actually wait for the release of GNOME 30, 43 and do a video about that if that's what I'm going to focus. One thing that I do want to talk about uh, significantly and uh, is the wallpaper. And yes, let's be honest, I am going to talk for like three minutes just about the paper. That's, that's just who I am. And the wallpaper of Fedora has always been a, a thing for me that I always looked at them, all of them, and I always, always thought this wallpaper looks bad. That has been always my first impression. But then when I actually start using them, every single time they grow on me so quickly and I just end up love end up love even the 36 wallpaper I, I totally love that one it's not a very like um, it's not a design that tries to be uh, as like as, as likely as possible for people to fall in love with it but it works and in this case this wallpaper I, I totally fell in love with it when I realized that it is adaptive of course and this is the dark version so this is the switch the switch between the light and the dark version and and, and i mean what else do you want it, it's perfect you even get the red lights on top of the buildings and, and it's just looks perfect I, I love this wallpaper so whoever is doing the wallpapers for fedora actually no good job <laughs> every time I'm, I'm going i don't like this wallpaper this is finally the wallpaper i don't like but i end up liking them all of them. What else? Well, when it's about distros, when you update to a newer distro, a lot of things are happening in the package thingy. So, <laughs> so as an example, uh, I rely a lot on Python for my workflow and I always need to have the latest version of Python. We are using always the newest features. I use Python a lot. So it is very important for me to have uh, Python. And in this case, Fedora actually ships with this new version, Python 3.11, which to be fully honest, I, I didn't even know about. I didn't exist it. So uh, really thumbs up for including the latest packages from this point of view and this is one of the reasons that uh, makes me miss makes me you know gives me the fear of missing out because if i run python here it's not even defined here it's 3.8 which is very late and there are some features that i need to are not there so i'm very limited here 3.11 so good job on that what else if you go to the Fedora 37 beta website, there's a list of all the updated packages with all of the newer versions that they have. They also have some changes such as better support for the Raspberry Pi, which again, you should check out on their website with their announcement, which is pretty good at explaining things. However, one issue with this kind of releases is that there's nothing to actually see on a video like this. I mean, I'm doing a video about Fedora 37 beta and okay, there's GNOME 3, but that's another thing. I, I would like to talk about 33 in another video. There's newer packages. I can show you that Python is now 3.11. There's the wallpaper, but what else exactly? How am I going to go sit here and list all of the packages that are new? Of course not. And there's no significant change uh, uh, except that as far as I'm aware. So why, why am I doing this video? What's the point? The point is the algorithm. You click on this video, you're watching, you're still watching this video, which means that it worked. So don't, don't, don't go, don't click away. 